Hey everybody, Steven here, back playing Osiris New Dawn, and this is the experimental build. They did an update last Friday, got uh, new biomes and stuff like that on Proteus 2 here. I'm in creative mode, I had to start over. I don't know why it is asking me to do this, if I'm in creative. It's kind of odd. Three, let's break it open. Yeah, that's odd it would have you do that. So, yeah, this area is already different. So I have a game on the experimental build. The problem is it was dark, and for whatever reason, I was playing for a good chunk of time, and, like, it just, sun wasn't coming up. So um, with that, I ended up going into, is it the mining site too? And... It's just because they updated some of the caves in here, right? That's one of the other things with this. And it like shot me through the map. So we have, I don't know how new that is, but Tumbo Basin. So it's telling you where you're at now. Very cool. But um, yeah, like shot me through the map. It was odd. Uh, and then I was stuck, couldn't get out. Because <laughs> it kept saying that I was in that, that mining site. But with this, we have new biomes, new plants. Um, they've changed how the floating rocks are here. You still have that edge to the world where it's like just sand. And if you go out there, it's just like it looks like it's just not built out on the map yet. Uh, these sandworms will come after you. Um, but definitely like higher terrain. There we go, some new trees. Um, a lot more lithium, just a lot more minerals in general. Let's see if we can get out of here. Definitely looks a lot better, in my opinion, than what it was looking like. It's not as barren. Can we not hit this one? Guess not. I wonder if you can hit that fruit down. All right, so we have... So yeah, those rocks are closer now. That's crazy where the aircraft is at. Yeah, this looks, you'll find like landmarks are the same. Like I remember that well, not being that close, but this does not look the same. So grass on the planet, it's like they took uh, stuff from, and I don't even think it's in the game anymore. Started with the G, but it was basically that planet was more like, looked like earth. But let's, I think I'm already in creative, right? I think this is how I built this out. So let's build some stuff. Let's see if it'll let me. Uh, what do I want to do first? Laboratory. Let's put you right there. So we'll go build this wall because what we're going to do is we're going to go walk around with the mech. Now, where is it? Um, they have new creatures. We have a mosquito. And I think they updated. I can't remember if it's in-game or not because it's been so long. I've been playing like my own playthrough. Um, but like things hit the experimental build first and then they'll make it to the stable build. So I'm, and I'm not playing in the experimental build. But uh, some of the updates um, with this, I, I just can't remember if it's a newer thing or it's been in for a while, but the flying skelepods. Let's see. Build. Where's me? That's what we need. Just like pops up somewhere. Yeah, yeah, buddy. And it pops up like way in the air now. There we go. This is what's up. It still needs work on the mechanics. Uh, what is that purple stuff, man? That's not supposed to look like that. What? Tin. All right. Pretty sure that's not supposed to look like that. That looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? Yeah, I like those new plants in the background. Let's go find some of the new ones. 
Yeah, this thing needs uh, like a jetpack on it. Definitely help. I am really hoping this game isn't... Because, I mean, obviously, it's been in development, what, like six, seven years? Like, I'm really hoping this isn't uh, going to fall flat again. And at that point, I think it's just we can all commit to this is vaporware. <laughs> like, it's not ever going to be done. So we have our... Which one is this? Which Mining site. This is supposed to be different. So the, all these are supposed to be different. This is mining site one. Whoa, that is blank. Whoa, that's way different. It's just open. The other one was literally just the room and then... Whoa. Uh, like I said, I fell through the map. It seemed like... Well, this is different. Oh, another section over here. Okay, it's like they extended it. They're like somewhat of a... Whoa! That's right there. See? Fell through the map like this. Holy smokes. That's a trip. Okay, well... <laughs> Be very careful. <laughs> what? Uh, let's see what happens over here, I guess. Definitely not. Yep. This. Oh, so they're just not finished. They just left it open. Like, all right, just go through the map, I guess. All right. Well, guess I won't mess with that other one either. Let's see my guy in speed run mode. Where are we going? Where's there it is. Okay. Get out of here. Bloodleaf Forest. Okay. So now it took me to the other one. Now I gotta run back? What? Okay. So I went in that one, it shot me over here. Last time I went in this one and it threw me off the map. Uh alright, well we're over here. Let's look at <laughs> Let's look at how this looks now. Change up to the trees. I like the new design. I like the colored grass. Sulfur. We have sulfur now. Oh, well, didn't we have sulfur? Like I mentioned earlier, there's a ton of lithium on the floor now. We need to find these wasps or mosquito things or whatever they are. Like, look at that. Look how much lithium you can find now. Uh, let's see. See if I can go over to the other side of the map over there. Isn't that where I crashed down? No, oh, actually, we're close enough to these. Let's check these out. New plant. You can chop them down. I don't know why I'm forgetting the name. They look cool, especially at night, because they have, like, that bioluminescence to them. They glow. Fibon tree. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. You even have an animation with uh, you knocking down all the stuff. So what did that give me? Ur urchin shell. What? Maybe it's just a placeholder. That's my assumption. We got new grass. Blue blades. Nice. Let's try this again. I do like that. That's pretty cool. And I just don't think it's giving to me anything right now. All right. Let's make our way back. Oh, what do we got here? Is this a redesign of the spacecrafts? Cyrus, nah. It kind of looks different. This looks different. I don't remember this. Yeah, that looks different. Red Sea Edge. Okay, so here you can see... Uh, I guess it goes a little bit further that way. But at a certain point, yeah, it just goes flat on you. 
but because of the new change up in terrain, I'm, I mean, I'm in creative, so easy to build stuff, but I've noticed running into situations, just trying to play a little bit on my own. And that's where we're going to head over there that, yeah, if you're not in a flat area, you're going to run into limits with building your base pretty quick. Because it can't, like, they don't have any angled pieces or anything like that if you're doing, I guess if you're going custom with everything, you could probably do it. Oh, come on. There we go. What? Boom. There it is. Let's go up to the forest. And I think all these changes are on Proteus too. I don't know. Oh, come on, guy. I don't know that they're on any of the other planets. Whoa. Seriously? Yeah, we need a jetpack for this guy or a booster. It was kind of weird with the mechanics. I like that blue grass. That does that. The other side doesn't do anything. So new trees here. Very good look. Crescent Valley. Let's exit. What do we got here? Funnel leaf. Nice. New plant right here. Scarborous something plant. That's a weird sound, by the way. Ping, ping. Desert Eucutus. Oh, man, since I'm in creative, are there no bugs? I may have messed that up. Urchin shell is what it's, I guess it's giving me urchin shell for the fly bomb plant there. So let's, so you can enter stuff. You can't do the fly yet. We're in creative mode. Oh, spawn. Wasp. Did I do anything? Spawn. Oh, Ito. Yeah, I don't think that did anything. I don't know any of the commands. All right, so I was gonna feel bad if I didn't showcase these creatures, specifically the wasp and the flying skelepod, which I'm thinking, like I said, was probably in game previously. I don't know. It's just been a minute since I've actually played the older version of the game, but I noticed that the drop pod was in a different location when I started this up again. So I don't know if it like randomizes it or how it works, but it's definitely a different location than the previous times I've played the game, which is interesting. But uh, let's check out some of these creatures here. All right, so we have one of the flying skelepods right there. Knock this guy down, boom. We'll see what this thing looks like. If it doesn't like fall into the ground. Ooh, that's creepy. I'm. Is that the bottom? Is that the teeth I'm looking at? Yeah, that's the teeth. I don't think you can like push the body to like look at it better because the grass is covering part of it up. Dead young flying skelepod Sk or skeleopod. I've been selling that wrong, saying that wrong the whole time. What do we get out of it? Skeleopod meat. Skelepod. Skelepod. I think. Skeleopod. Man, I wish this thing had boosters. Alright, let's go look for the wasp. Wasp? Wasps. Hey, wasp? Wasps. That sounds weird. Oh, there we go. And we got a handful, too. Which they look... Oh, got that guy. <laughs> got that Skeleopod. So, they look smaller when I'm in this obviously but they're pretty large I mean look at that <laughs> that'd be dude, that'd be creepy 
be creepy. It'd be scary if uh, those existed here. I don't know if you've seen some of those wasps that are like as big as your hand. Yeah, that thing's pretty big. Boom. Knock them back. Yeah, so we have the uh, wasps. Did I say that right? <laughs> and we had the flying skeleopods there. So uh, let's cut back to the regular portion of the video now. Let's go grab our mech and see where else we can go. But yeah, look at that. So much cooler looking. Still a lot of work to be done, though. We look at this one. Yeah, funnel leaf. Okay. All right, let's head on out. And this, I mean, Brent blends pretty well, but uh, with the surrounding biome. I, I think they did a good job on that. Got gas, we got some flour. Hades hive. Can we change the view of this? No. Oh, the other thing, you can see it in the top right-hand corner. Uh, the map, you don't have to use your little tracker deal anymore. You can actually just look at that. I do like that addition. What is this? This I have not seen. Whoa. What is that? It's like all over the ground. Valley's Gravitas. That's interesting. I like that. I'm wondering if that's, once again, work in progress up here, if that's where we're going to see grass or if it's supposed to just look like that. That's different than anything I've seen before uh, in this game for sure. And there we go. Now you can see the world edge. It just goes on for a good chunk and just like sand dunes yeah there's like nothing for me to shoot and then it kind of goes back to its older look so more distinct biomes definitely nice what is this whoa what is that Mercury, there we go. Seems like easier to find stuff. Hopefully the next one that they do, we will see more of this obviously filled out. Looks like we got another batch of trees right here. Let's check out this biome. We have the floating rocks. It seems like they're pretty collected in certain areas. I like the taller pillars now. Ampelis, ooh, Ampeliska, planet Planitia. Okay. You know what it reminds me of? Uh, it reminds me more of like Satisfactory. Some of the biomes in Satisfactory is what this looks like now. I'm digging these trees though. Let's see. I wish that would give you fruit. Maybe that's part of the next update. And what do we have here? Oh, all right. Whoa, begin repairs. Hold on a second. Say what? Do we finally get to do this? Insufficient resources. Let's go creative, exit. Ah, oh, still not gonna let me do it. Okay, that was one of the things that I've been wanting them to do for a long time is just like, yeah, man, let us repair this stuff. Begin repairs, hide blueprints, insufficient resources. Am I not in creative? Creative. 
Insufficient resources. That's super odd. Wait, wait, wait. Insufficient. No. Oh. So there was repair and then that. Blocked by wreckage. Hold on. Salvage. Get it out of the way. High blueprints. Begin repairs. High blueprints. Yeah, man, I thought I was in creative. What's going on? Whoa. Am I stuck? All right, that's pretty cool that we do have that. Finally, I know that's something a lot of people have wanted. I don't want to spend... Whoa. I don't spend my whole time there. Very nice. Let's see if we can find the... There it is. All right, so this is the same. That has changed. And it does look like it's areas, too, that just were kind of blank. That they've added some stuff here for these biomes. Because it was seeming pretty plain there for a while. Let's check here. Can we repair this now? No, it doesn't look like that. All right, so that one's repairable. And it's like built out now too. This is not looking like that. I've heard they're adding the ghosts back in. I just don't know when. Does that biodome look a little different on the inside too? Maybe a little bit of a redesign there. That looks a little different to me. Here we go. We got some other new plants here. They finally added more of these trees too because they had like a couple. <laughs> like, and this was just blank, but now we got these guys too. Let's check this out. What is that thing? Can't hit it. Don't think we can do anything with that. Nope. Still looks cool though. All right, let's go through here. Fungal thicket, noise. Get out of the way. Oh, come on, dude. Why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Go, there we go. Yeah, this looks way better. That's actually pretty cool looking now. Still could use a little bit more. I think they could add a little bit more to this. Make it a little more dense. That's looking so much better. We got a little airlock that we could update here. It's looking like the game has more potential with this stuff too now. Oh, and then the vast open <laughs> blankness of that. <laughs> All right, come on. I know another big portion of this main complaint is like, there's no story to any of this. Like we need to figure out, they need a writer. We need a storyline to make this worth playing also. Ooh, hold on. Oh, question. No. That didn't help me. I thought I was going to be able to make it. Can't boost high enough for that. Hold on. Let's see. Can I? No, you can't sit on that. Well, bummer. 
Maybe that one over there? Just gonna hop on top of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Alright. Let's head down here. Be cool if you could... I mean, I guess you probably could build a little bit of a shelter inside here, right? Just right underneath that. Can we? Yeah, you can. Look at that. Not too shabby. Alright. I'm not going to make it up there. I don't think that's going to work. Let's head out. We're going to check the back end here. And then I think we've covered, for the most part, everything. Kind of did one big circle. Three Peak Valley. Okay. Yeah, this looks like it used to look. Just more resources. That looks the same. What, what is that doing? You hold it, he walks. Helios Hill. Full name. No, no, just you can just shoot. All right. Yeah, I think we just did... I think we just completed the circle. Is it, like, melding into that open sand now? Whoa. Yeah. And I think we're back at the mining site now. Yep. Bloodleaf Forest. Jump them on down. There it is. All right, how about we end it with this? I'll at least show you this, and then we'll see what happens. It may shoot me through the map again. Yeah, so just an open room. Not an open room. Not even open room. It's just a round cave. Like I said, like they're going to be adding stuff. There it goes. Look at that. Just shot me off. And... Ooh. They're finding stuff. This feels like... Like I'm going into the upside down. Like, this is dark. You can walk around. Uh, Tumbo Basin. Like, it's just... A, weird one the color's gone you can see the other planet well i could see you can see another planet right there completely dark got our sun yeah i don't even know where this goes let's see if maybe we find Or maybe it shoots us out somewhere. There's that other planet. Like, it's very hard to tell if this is... The regular portion of the map is just now it looks like this. I guess that might tell us, right? What the heck is that? Is that not the... Skull? Yeah, okay. Let's see, where is it taking me? Let's go up. Maybe we'll find that other base right here. Yep, okay, yeah. So, boom, it's just... Like, flipped it. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, so if we wanted to know what the map looked like if it was completely dark. <laughs> and I bet if I didn't have this in creative, there would be potentially some creatures trying to hunt me down. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with that again. I'm just going to have to go. I'm going to have to do another video where I go in and show the wasp. It's, it's okay. It's kind of annoying. Flies up on you. As it should be, right? Yeah, I don't think this is going to get me anywhere. <laughs> Let's just hop up for a cool view. And good, now it's raining. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be it for this video, everybody. I'm going to see here in the next couple months. If they're consistent with these updates, um, I'm going to be doing my playthrough of Subnautica Below Zero here pretty soon. But if they are consistent, this may be something where I do start covering some of these updates. I guess the big question I have is, are they going to get a, a writer? If there's no story and they're just like building up the world a little bit, um, that's one thing. If, if there's no story integrated into it, I just don't think a ton of people are going to necessarily play it potentially because... I mean, the building stuff can be fun for a little bit, but there's nothing there to sustain you long-term, potentially. But uh, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you guys think of the new biomes and everything in the comment section. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.